we have learnt that separation of a mixture can be done by decantation but can we separate all the mixtures by the process of decantation let us perform an activity to understand this take freshly prepared tea decant tea from tea leaves look at the decanted tea what do you see you will see that a few leaves are still in your tea thus we can conclude that we cannot separate all the mixtures by the process of decantation then how do we separate all the tea leaves from the tea now take a strainer and pour the tea through it observe both tea and the strainer what do you see in the strainer you will see that all the tea leaves remain in the strainer this process of separation of a mixture with the help of a strainer or a filter is called filtration we will now perform an activity to learn about the process of filtration take soil and water mixture in a glass beaker now take a small piece of cotton cloth take another glass beaker and put the cloth on top of it now pour the mixture through the cloth what do you observe you will observe that soil particles remained in the cloth while the water passes through the cloth and gets collected in the second beaker do you know why this is because cotton cloth acts as a filter let us learn how a cotton cloth acts as a filter in a piece of cloth small holes or pores are there in between the woven threads it is actually these small pores that act as a filter the soil particles are bigger in size than these pores so they cannot pass through these pores and remain in the cloth while water molecules being smaller than the pore size of the cloth can easily pass through the cloth thus by using a filter we can separate out components of a mixture we have learned that clothes act as a filter apart from clothes a filter paper is another type of filter that has very fine pores in it let us learn how to filter substances by using a filter paper a filter paper is folded in the form of a cone this folded filter paper is fixed onto a funnel the mixture to be separated is then poured on the filter paper solid particles in the mixture do not pass through it and remain on the filter while the liquid can easily pass through it and gets separated from the solid particles in this way we can filter liquid from a mixture by using a filter paper